there anybody out there? Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Linda, and I hope you're having a good day. Well, um, the where I live, um, we're going to have the UAVs over our house. Um, so I, I'm just going to show you what they're going to do here. Washington State, and especially where I live, is going to do it, uh, proposed by the United States government, because our port now, there, there it, this all stems from, um, instead of the Keystone Pipeline, which I'll do a video on it in a minute, um, is um, they're, they're not using the pipeline anymore. They're using trains, and they're not far from my house where they're bringing the back and oil and, and also coal and natural gas. And um, there's a lot of things going on I'm finding out that's really creepy because this is a very rural um, it's kind of the foothills of the Olympics. Um, we're in the rainforest, so um, it, it's really creepy that they're going to do this right here where I live. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, right here, it says Homeland Security Newswire, and it says Central Washington State prepared for a UAV research testing site. And so what they're going to do, there was an act of 2012 enacted by Congress, calls for establishing six unmanned aircraft systems, research and testing sites in the United States. A consortium of Washington state-based organizations will soon submit final selection of proposal site of unmanned drones. We're going to have drones. Okay, I want to show you that Grant County will and Grace Harbor will, and that's where I live. And the reason um, they're going to, Grace Harbor's got a lot going on. We have the Sat, Satsup um, Business Park, which was going to be a nuclear power plant, but it never made it to that capacity, although it was built. So there's no nothing nuclear there, and they have tunnels there. And I've actually heard that some of the tunnels, because it sits near water and it's close to the ocean, actually has submarines that go in there and no telling what else. This is just hearsay, though. However, Grays Harbor County, we're also going to have the trains that bring the back and oil and other stuff. And and they're dredging out Grays Harbor, um, the harbor, for uh, China to come and pick up the oil. And, of course, they'll be sending that toxic oil back after they make whatever us fine American people can consume. Um, so um, it, it's really scary and... I'm going to leave the link um, because they're given a different reason, but I already know the reason, and that's because there's a lot of people that are opposed to this. One train spills, our water's gone here, our drinking water, um, and and they're going to be, they're pumping a lot. I think they're already doing it, although they're still working on some of the railroads. They're also going to be storing over 200,000 gallons or maybe even barrels of this crude oil right on a river that goes right into the ocean. I'll do that that video next. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up on this. We, we have been approved for drones here and this is um, of a May 2013. So peace. Um, love you guys. No fear. And you know what? I'd say get the hell out of Washington State. I'm going to think about it. Bye.